Yeah, there are two parts of the question over here, and it is basically dealing with the treatment of transactions between parent and the subsidiary. Now, in part A, they are saying that A Limited holds 80% of the equity capital and voting power in B Limited. A Limited sells inventors costing rupees 180 lakhs at a price of rupees 200 lakhs. The entire inventory remains unsold with B Limited at the financial year ending 31st March 2019. Then they have given us part B. A Limited holds 75% this time. A Limited purchases inventories of 150 lakhs from B at a price of rupees 200 lakhs. The entire inventory are again remaining unsold. They are saying suggest the accounting treatment for the above mentioned transactions in the consolidated financial statements of A Limited. So basically these are transactions between the parent and the subsidiary. If you see the first transaction, A is selling to B. A is holding 80% shares. That means A is the parent company and B is turning out to be the subsidiary. In other words, the parent is selling to, right? Parent sells to the subsidiary. We understand this as downstream sales in accounting standard 21. So the way I will answer part A, the way I will answer part A, understand this. They have given us parent sells to subsidiary, right? So this is case of downstream sales, case of downstream sales. We are saying uh, uh, 180 lakhs, we are selling at 200 lakhs. So tell me, how will be the treatment given? What shall be the treatment? of transaction, treatment of the transaction, reduce, reduce from sales and purchases, rupees 200 lakhs. We are selling for 200 lakhs. This must be lying in the sales of the subsidiary this must be lying in the purchases of uh, sorry sales of the parent and it must be lying in the purchases of the subsidiary reduce the sales by 200 lakhs reduce the purchases by 200 lakhs one more thing 180 lakhs you are selling for 200 lakhs that means there is a profit profit is unrealized to the extent of unsold goods they have clarified that the entire inventory is unsold in other words, the entire profit of 20 lakhs is unrealized. So we have to eliminate the unrealized profit. So we say eliminate, eliminate unrealized profit of rupees 20 lakhs. Tell me, how will you eliminate this? Ask the question. Ask yourself, who has booked the profit? Parent has sold to the subsidiary. So who has booked the profit? Parent has booked the profit. So eliminate from consolidated profit and loss account of parent, right? Eliminate from consolidated profit and loss account of parent. Your profit will reduce by 20 lakhs or maybe your loss will increase by 20 lakhs. This profit is lying in the unsold inventory of the subsidiary. So when you will prepare consolidated balance sheet, you will take the inventory of the parent and to that you will add the inventory of the subsidiary. Reduce the consolidated inventory by rupees 20 lakhs. So eliminate eliminate from consolidated inventories inventories in consolidated balance sheet so when you prepare the consolidated balance sheet at that time eliminate this unrealized profit
part B. In part B, they are saying that A Limited holds 75%. So again, A is the parent company, B is the subsidiary. This time they say A Limited purchases. Parent is purchasing. That means the subsidiary is selling. If the subsidiary is selling, we consider this as upstream sales. The total price is 200 lakhs. Fine. 200 lakhs will be eliminated from the sales of the subsidiary. 200 lakhs will be eliminated from the purchases of the parent. The entire inventory is unsold. So the profit will become unrealized. Okay. So I say for part B, parent, this time subsidiary, subsidiary sells to parent, right? This is understood as upstream sales, right? We will consider that upstream sales. What will be the treatment of the transaction? Treatment of the transaction, yes. Eliminate rupees 200 lakhs from sales of subsidiary and purchases of the parent, right? This is the first thing that I shall be doing. Now, 150 and 200 lakhs. So 50 lakhs of profit has been booked. 50 lakhs of the profit. So we have to eliminate it. So we say elimination of unrealized profit of rupees 50 lakhs. Okay. Ask yourself, who has booked the profit? The profit has been booked by the subsidiary. So, eliminate rupees 50 lakhs from profits of subsidiary profits of subsidiary okay how much we have purchased 75 percent shares has been purchased by us right 75 percent shares so what shall this do what shall this do this will i take 50 and multiply that by 75 percent this will reduce share of parent in profits of subsidiary by rupees 37.5 lakhs. I have taken the profit of 50 lakhs and multiplied that by 75%. Not only that, the minority shareholders their profit will also reduce. So we say reduce share of minority in profits by rupees 12.5 lakhs. So I will reduce the profit that belongs to the parent by 75% of the unrealized profit of 50 lakhs. I will reduce the share of the minority by uh, uh, by 25% of rupees 50 lakhs. So that is what I'm doing over here. And where is the profit lying? The profit is lying in the stock. So this profit is lying in the inventory of the parent. When you will prepare consolidated balance sheet, you will take the inventory of the parent and to that you will add the inventory of the subsidiary. So that total inventory should be reduced by 50 lakhs of rupees of unrealized profit. So, eliminate rupees 50 lakhs from consolidated 
from consolidated inventories in consolidated balance sheet. 